PD-34, are you having a blood pressure crisis? Hello, I'm Dr. T. Today, we're addressing these questions. What is a hypertensive crisis? What's the difference between hypertensive urgency and a hypertensive emergency? How common is it? Who is at risk? What causes it? What are the symptoms? How dangerous is it? Uh, what can I do to avoid? Uh, high blood pressure leads to damage of the inner layer of the arteries, leading to buildup of plaque, limiting the flow of blood. And every artery of the body can be affected. Damage usually uh, occurs over many years, slowly and relentlessly. However, sometimes the blood pressure rises so quickly that it becomes a medical emergency called a blood pressure crisis. This is defined by a systolic above 180 or a diastolic above 120. Anything above 180 or over 120 for the lower number of diastolic pressure. What is the hypertensive emergency? Here, you are, not only you have your high blood pressure above 180 or over 120, but you're having symptoms. Could affect in your brain, your heart, your kidneys. You have what we call it target organ damage. How common is a blood pressure crisis? About one or two percent of people who have high blood pressure end up develop hypertensive causes. It used to be actually higher, up to 7% because the, before the blood pressure medications were more common. And uh, about a quarter of people who got in the emergency room with the hypertensive crisis was actually have organ uh, damage. What causes hypertensive crisis? Number one, failure to take the blood pressure medications as indicated and suddenly stopping the use of blood pressure medications is the most common cause. You can get rebound effect if you stop your blood pressure medication, at least certain like medications are clonded in the battle box, you get a very spike in your blood pressure become dangerous. Other medications, you could uh, raise your blood pressure abruptly. Uh, even oral contraceptives, uh, painkillers, pseudoephedrine and steroids and cyclosporin. And uh, number three, you're taking blood pressure medications, but they have not been adjusted. The dose is not enough. Number four, any kidney damage could lead to a spike in high blood pressure. Number six, uh, some endocrine diseases affecting the thyroid or the adrenal gland. Number seven, uh, preeclampsia, eclampsia during pregnancy could cause high elevation of blood pressure. Number eight, recreational drugs like cocaine and amphetamine. And number nine, head trauma. Number 10, brain tumors. Both, they can increase pressure inside your head, causing hypertensive crisis. What are the symptoms of a low pressure crisis? Let's look at symptoms affecting the brain, the neurological side. This could be a severe headache. This could be confusion, agitation, or even seizures, numbness, blurred vision, loss of consciousness, and a stroke. Let's look at uh, symptoms affecting the chest and the heart. You could have severe chest uh, pain, angina, you could develop a heart attack, you could have severe shortness of breath because you went to the pulmonary edema, the fluid back up in your lungs, you can have a heart attack. You could have a back severe onset of black pain uh, that can occur if the blood pressure damage the aorta causing a dissection, for instance. You could have symptoms affecting your kidneys, your stomach due to the increased pressure in the brain. Damage in the kidneys would lead to fluid retention and you could have in the blood and urine, red colored urine. How dangerous is it and what to do? If you have a hypertensive crisis, you look at if you have symptoms, don't have symptoms. If you don't have symptoms, we call a blood pressure urgency. Your blood pressure is above 180 over 120. You could wait five minutes and remeasure. And if you don't have symptoms, call your doctor, your provider, you can adjust the medications. But if you have a hypertensive emergency, then you're having symptoms. Not only you have a very high blood pressure, 180 over 20 or higher, but you're having chest pain or shortness of breath or uh, confusion or difficulty in uh, speaking or uh, developing seizures. You need to call the 911. You need to go to the emergency room. There is no time to wait. Your doctors will lower your blood pressure using IV medications or all medications depending on your situation. What to do to avoid a blood pressure crisis? If you have blood pressure, take medications, take them regular, number one. Number two, never stop them without consulting with your uh, physician or other healthcare provider because certain medications, clonidine and bad blockers, could cause a rebound on your blood pressure if you stop them. And again, know your blood pressure 
know your numbers, make sure you have a blood pressure 120 over 80 or less. And there are other ways of lowering your blood pressure, even without medications like decreasing salt on your diet. I'll put a video and the link that gives you more information on how to lower your blood pressure, lowering your sodium in your diet. Know your numbers, be smart. It's your health, your most precious asset. See you next video.